Yo, what is going on everybody? Fred at Eastgate Unity here, back at you with another video. Today we have the Vareal RS all-terrain setup. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Nice. Let me put this to the side real quick. T-tool, charger for the remote, extra Allen keys, business cards, standard hobby wing remote, Standard 3M charger with power cable. All right, let's talk about the motors. These are 6368, 170 kV, 1500 watt motors each. This is a 15T motor pulley with a 60T wheel pulley. The Forge Double King 13 and a half inch trucks. Your metal enclosure is right here, which is holding a 10S 4P 20 amp hour battery. 720 watt hours with lichen cells. This deck is seven ply Canadian maple with two ply bamboo. What I'm told, it's not flexi because of the metal enclosure on the bottom, but I could be wrong about that. Nine and a quarter inches wide at its widest point. It's 36 and a half inches long. The max load is about 330 pounds. Range is up to 25 miles and the top speed is up to 25 miles per hour. The board is only 28 and a half pounds. It's got slight concave as you can see. Six inch all-terrain Sunmate tires. Let's charge her up. Let's take it out for a ride. Okay guys, let's talk about the deck. As I mentioned before, the deck is seven ply Canadian maple and two ply bamboo. But from what I'm told, the reason why it doesn't have flex is because of the metal enclosure below. It doesn't really have any flex. It has a little bit of give to it and the max load is 330 pounds. So it's good for heavier riders as well. Now to get a size comparison idea, I put it next to the bamboo AT Pro from Onboard. And as you can see, the Onboard is wider, longer and a bigger wheelbase. Now I do like the slight W concave in the Vareal, it has just enough concave for my feet for carving. As for these double kingpin trucks, I really enjoy them. The turning radius is awesome. If it's a little bit too much of a squirrely kind of feeling for you, there's a lot of things you could do. Simply tighten up the trucks. You can also get harder bushings. And there are a few companies that are coming out with higher cupped washers, which I will mention a little bit later on on my channel. And if you can just practice a little bit more and gain some more confidence, you, you can use double kingpin trucks to this full potential. It's got the agility, it's got the carve, it's got dancing, it's got sliding, and it's just fun all around. You can hit high speeds with it, it just requires some practice. Okay, so let's talk about this six inch Sunmate wheels the Vareal came with. Now there's been plenty of times that I've had Sunmates and they were super off balance. With the Vareal, I had no wobbles whatsoever. This board was a beast off-roading and it was so much fun. Ate up all four trails I threw at it and along with the concave deck and the six inch tires and the double king pin trucks, it was just so much fun ripping these trails.
right? Acceleration test. Okay, one, two, three, go. Here's a brake test at 15 miles per hour. One, two, three, go. Good. Give it an eight. As for top speed, I got 23.1 miles per hour with a six inch Sunmate setup with 60T pulleys. As for range, I got 19.8 miles of range on the all-terrain RS setup. As for the Mad Wheels 105 millimeters on the RS. Now this is where I really truly believe the board really wakes up. Now when you put these type of wheels on there, you're gonna gain acceleration, you're gonna gain range, you're gonna gain agility, and these wheels are just awesome. They grip extremely well. If you haven't seen my review, go check it out. I did a full review on the Mad Wheels itself, but with this combination, it's just absolutely perfect. Now don't get it twisted, just because they're street wheels does not mean they cannot go off-roading. Check it out. As for a range on the Vareil RS 20 amp hour battery with the Mad Wheels. I got 28.5 miles and I'm 150 pounds. Now if you guys are not located in the United States then you can't get the Mad Wheels off their website. But Vareil is a retailer that ships worldwide. So if you want to use my code it only comes out to 125 bucks. As for top speed on the Vril RS, utilizing the 105 Mad Wheels, I hit 31 miles per hour and I was using 32T pulleys. Constructive criticism. Now these are very minor, but they're worth mentioning. I actually like the size of the board. I like that it's not huge and big and bulky, but the deck is still a little bit too narrow for me. I wear a size nine shoe and my ankles and my toes still hang off the sides of the deck. So I've talked about this a few times on a few of my videos. This is the brand new setup. As you can see, the tire is brand spanking new. 
I checked the bolts and it were a little bit too tight. So it had bad free roll. I released a little bit and the free roll is still bad. It's cheap bearings. I don't know why companies just don't use better bearings. Investing in some decent bearings with built-in spacers is totally worth it. It's such a small investment that will make such a big difference. Now I also mentioned the belt tensions are always so super tight. That's another easy fix that'll dramatically help the riding experience. Final thoughts. Now this is a great entry level two in one board. Is it a powerhouse performance board? Of course not, but it definitely has good power. It's got good range. It's got the capabilities of using dozens of different wheels, including street wheels and all-terrain. And since it's a belt drive, you can switch from smaller pulleys to bigger pulleys. So you can tweak your acceleration or you can tweak your top speed. I'm also told that the enclosure is super durable. Some people actually tested it and ran it over with cars and it still never snapped. Now, usually a two in one board is above 30 pounds and this is about 28 pounds. Now picking it up and carrying it inside a Walmart was simple. Now here is by far the biggest selling point. The Vril RS, the cheapest version with the 90 millimeter wheels is $699. There's a lot of street boards like the Zealot S and the Meepo Voyager that are more expensive with less range and not capable of all-terrain setup. Now a two-in-one board utilizing a 20 amp hour battery under $700 is just insane. Now, if you want more performance out of the Vril RS, you can go for the pro version and with the 90 millimeter wheels, it's the same price as a Zealot S. Now that's just insane. If you're finally looking for a two-in-one board and you don't wanna spend insane amount of money, you still want good range, you want the capability of switching out dozens of different wheels, change up pulleys, and finally being able to go off-roading with your electric skateboard, the Vril RS is where it's at. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.